During my childhood, we often went to church twice on a Sunday. And in those two services, we would sing between three and seven psalms. And so the psalms became a fundamental part of my early Christian journey. But perhaps the most formative experience of the psalms I had was when my grandfather took my auntie away on holiday and we went to stay with my grandmother. Before my grandfather left, he set, set me the task of learning Psalm 1 off by heart. At that time, the only Bible I had was the authorised version, and so I learned Psalm 1 in the language of the 17th century. And this is what I learned. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the wicked, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on that law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that bringeth forth fruit in its season. His leaf does not wither, and whatever he does, doeth he prospers. But the wicked are not so, they are like chaff which the wind drives away. The wicked will not stand in the seat of judgment, or sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. I love the image of that psalm of the tree planted by streams of water, and it spoke to me of my life being fed by the Holy Spirit. But so much of the language in, this, in that psalm I struggled with. What did it mean to sit in the seat of scoffers? And it made me wonder why my grandfather had chosen that psalm for me to learn. But since then I've come to experience the psalms as a beautiful part of God's word, particularly because the authors speak to God in a very intimate way, though it's perhaps not always very appealing. Because they're poetry, we can not only analyse these psalms, but we can also play with the words and try and understand what the psalmist was really driving at. And this led me to try and imagine what the psalms might have been like had they been rewritten in the 21st century. This is my version of Psalm 1, Reimagined. If you want to know deep happiness, don't waste your time listening to the advice of twisted minds, or joining in the chatter of devious hearts, or laughing at the humour of those who devalue everything of worth. The Lord's presence is with the person who takes great pleasure in thinking about his thoughts and words every hour of the day and night. They are like a tree rooted by a flowing stream. They are evergreen and produce plentiful fruits at the right time. In contrast, those whose hearts are set on wrong are like dying autumn leaves blown around by gusts of wind. It is clear how their lives will be assessed. In life, they avoided being linked to the Lord and his followers, so their future will be separate too. The Lord stays close to coach his followers, but those who do not want him will find their own destination.